we said, hey, fell, let's get up at 8 o'clock to beat the sun, to beat the heat. It's like over 30 already. It's like 9 o'clock. Well, it's 10.30. <laughs> well, 10.30, 9 o'clock, tomato, tomatoes. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. We are here in Chatuchak Park, also known as Chatuchak or JJ, I think. It is, it is like right next to the biggest market in the world. You know, One of the biggest outdoor markets in the world. Okay, so we're gonna go there. We're armed with like a bunch of bot. I think it's like 700, we're, it's like $25 we're gonna spend each. Oh. Bot. I didn't know what you were saying. Bot, yeah. Bot Thai bot. Thai, that's the money here. So we're gonna see how much we can each get with $25 and we're gonna have to split up. So Wes will go his way, I'll go my way with the other camera and we'll see how much each of us can get for 25 Canadian and then I think we're going to do like gift each other something, $5, $5 Canadian. Yeah. Okay. So we'll see. Let's do this. This market's gonna be crazy. Crazy. it's actually a lot less crowded than it normally is and I'm still a little bit shy vlogging because normally Wes is holding the camera so I'm not shy with you guys I'm just shy with everybody that's watching me but I actually have a list of things that I need because we don't normally shop for stuff we're on a budget and we don't normally just splurge on clothes because we don't have a lot of room this time I know things that I need I'm not sure Wes is systematic this way but I have a list and hopefully I will get it. So we have 625 baht to spend each, okay? So 100 baht is like $4 Canadian, which is like 325 American. So keep that in mind. 100 baht, 325 American. So most t-shirts are running around 100 baht for a sale, maybe 150. So even like stylish ones. So it's quite a good deal. more than one thing so I think maybe a good tactic is to buy like as much on my list as I can at the same place and hopefully get a deal because I suck at bargaining I'm the worst I'm like too nice and it's tempting because here the prices are relatively cheap and so when you see a deal you don't think to bargain but you should because you can get a lot better price and a lot more bang for your for your butt <laughs> I've never seen uh, such good cats. So I paid 150 baht for this beautiful t-shirt. Hi! Uh, <laughs> this place is awesome. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. I probably could have bargained with that guy better, but he saw me with an expensive camera. Like, what are, you, what are you gonna do? You probably could have got it for 100. I'm supposed to meet Wes for lunch in like five minutes. I still haven't bought anything. Because this market is so big and I'm gonna be late. I just found him. We we're both lost. Not at our meeting spot, but we found each other. I thought you were gonna have to go on without me there. <laughs> I'm lost, man. Dehydrated, lost, man. Help me. This place is 20 something acres. If you're watching this video, I'm already dead. Holy shit. We bought stuff already, but I haven't. I found a store where I think I'll be able to bargain because they have a lot of the stuff on my list. But. It's hard to bargain when you have this setup. Like they're like they know that you have like a couple dollars. <laughs> you can't bargain like 50 cents when you have that. But we're broke backpackers. We'll definitely do a Thai food vlog, but just to give you an idea, the price to be right now near our house is 30 baht for a meal, which is just over a dollar. 
Here the prices can be a little bit high, but you shouldn't have to pay more than 50 baht for a meal. This was 50 baht. Wes's, I think, was even less. But just uh, look out for that here at the market. Behind me is the crazy madness where you buy your food. Crazy madness. pushy and the market is so big that there's actually a map so that you can figure out where you're going and there is so much shopping here that people literally come with empty suitcases just to fill them up here and so maybe that's why the vendors aren't so pushy because like a lot of money or a lot of bot is exchanged here oh you guys you guys bought too much stuff oh well there's a U UPS here so you can just ship it home Thailand's mannequin game is strong. These mannequins are crazy here. They just represent my person, all sides of my personality. away they try to like get you to come back and they settle on a price but I was trying to negotiate from 180 baht to 100 baht for a shirt and the lowest she would go is 170 even if I bought something else so I'm not doing so well I'm not sure if Wes is having better luck but I want to get more stuff than he gets for $25 qualified from this game but I went a little bit over on Wes's gift and I couldn't resist because the shirt had cats on it and we all know he loves his cats. Oh my god I'm getting dehydrated. I lost track but I think I spent $25. We'll see when we get home. Uh, three hours at the market, non-stop walking, 34 degrees. Man, it's hot.